ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Grumpy Vlogger Live. Hey, 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 folks, how you doing? I hope everybody can hear me. Uh, I'm doing good. I finally made it. We ha we're having a live show. Uh, Trevor, just so you know, we are live, or I'm live anyways. I'm a, I'm a live. And hopefully I'm live on the internet. So, let me go ahead and bring in my outstanding, stupendous, amazing, and diminutive friend, none other than my co-host, Mr. Art Carlson, coming to us from Denver, Colorado, actually West Minnesota. Here we go. Hey, Art. Today is talk like a pirate day. Arr. Okay, well, that's all right. How you doing, Art? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, okay. Better than right. yesterday. <laughs> Better than yesterday. Yeah, you had kind of a reason to be bummed out yesterday. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. The memorial? Yes. He was five years younger than me. Five years old. Well, you know, that hurts yeah. when you start seeing people your own age or younger than you passing. I, you know, I see those things on, you know, Legacy.com that they put up on YouTube all the time. Who died this week? I started looking at those ages, and I'm seeing them my age. You know, they died in natural causes. And man, I hope I don't die of natural causes. You know, I hope yeah. I die having a heart attack making love to my wife. You know, that's what I'd rather be doing, but. Mm. Knowing me, I'll, I'll, I'll fall asleep and I won't wake up. That'll be the way it is, you know. Boring. Mm -hmm. But anyways, let's bring in our our good friend from down under, none other than Dominic. Hey, good morning. Good it morning. Is good it, it is good afternoon or evening to you, but good morning to everybody. Good well. morning, matey. Yeah, and I, tre I saw Trevor in the chat, so... Yep. I can say good morning to him and good evening and good yeah. afternoon to everybody else. Yeah, and Grant is also Grant, Mr. Stay Drunk is also oh, he's from him. Adelaide. Hello, Grant, yeah, then. And uh speaking of down under, I got a call today from none other than Greg from Oz by Drone. Oh, okay. Oh, How's he doing? Yeah. He's doing good. He's busy. <clears throat> he's working and he has a job. I think he's working for Verizon. And uh <laughs> he's basically He's basically the businesses or is connected to that to something they do. And he's basically recoding all of their software and uh building the business from the ground up. Uh, he's having to, mm -hmm. they're having to restructure the whole business because they apparently bought out another company down there and so he's in the middle of restructuring all that. So and uh yeah. everybody hey, can start you. Yeah, I know. I told him I hadn't heard from him in a while and he realized yeah. he hadn't talked to me and uh his daughter is now in, uni in university, and she's in the process of building a robot. And he sent me a, a small picture of what it has to do. It's quite quite complicated. And, of course, it's all being run by programming. It's going to be a, an autonomous robot system, so robotic system. And uh, uh, Dumb, I'll tell you where's Addy? We, met, we want <laughs> Addy back. Yes, I'll try and get her on again. <laughs> Addy, did I miss something? Yeah. Miss? Oh, go that was on watch, Bill's. Go back and watch Uncle Bill's stream about an hour in. I <laughs> introduce everybody to a, a, a good friend of mine, uh, a young girl that I'm trying to um, <clears throat> start into the drone community as well. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. So awesome. Uh, Let's just get the He's, let's get the elephant in the room out of the way right now. Yes, elephant. I'm missing a tooth. Yes, I look like a hillbilly. I had to have two teeth pulled. That's why I didn't do a show last week. Mm. My face was so numb that I couldn't. I you know. Well, you could so, almost pass for an Aussie. Yeah, some of the some of the movies you see. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Some of the shows it, you see. It, it, in Australia, yeah. we call them Collingwood supporters. <laughs> Yeah, in England yeah. they don't know what a dentist is. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. They they got some pretty, <laughs> uh, and you know it will be replaced uh, 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 eventually. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to have a bridge that bridges these two crowns, and I don't have to worry about putting in a damn partial. I hate wearing my partials. I don't wear them. Wow. Wow. Getting a real, 
It's, not it's already gone. Here. Yeah, I was gonna say it's already it's warm here. It was a hundred. It was a hundred one degrees here today. Wow. This is the middle of September. Mm. Good lord! And it's like what's wrong with this place? But uh, mm. <clears throat> you know, it's it's a it's it's an election year. Even though it's a midterm, there's a lot of hot air floating around, and that's causing all this global warming. All these hot air people. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, we get the same rubbish here. He said, yeah, make me a new set of teeth like George Washington. Walnut would be pretty good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to. It, last Monday and Tuesday was really rough. I, I went in and I had one tooth was scheduled to be pulled. And when she saw this crown had fallen out the Thursday before, she went ahead and says, well, we're just going to pull it while we got your face numbed up. We'll just add an extra couple of shots. Oh, my God. And uh, a couple shots wasn't it, but she, you know, they they ended up getting the root out, and because it had a root, now, so it wouldn't really bother me. And they got the other one out, but they had to. And uh, so I was in a lot of pain. Plus, they did a filling on one of my teeth, <clears throat> so I was in quite a bit of pain Monday night. And then about one o'clock, Judy so, wakes me up. So you were talking kind of like Bill Murray. Yeah, and I felt I, yeah because you know, when they gave me the shot, teeth. because of the way this this particular tooth i had to have surgery on it years ago it had destroyed the upper the bone in my upper jaw here all the way into the in the roof of my mouth and they had to actually go in and remove something that had developed and filled that in would the, be the mat to learn. yeah well they had to, like i said they had to go in there and do some rebuilding the jaw is the mandibular Mandibular, yeah. Well, why do know, I, I know do. that? Because I worked at dental. You work at a dental, uh, yeah, manufacturing right. plant for twenty six right, years. Did. Yeah, so. yeah. But so anyway, all all those terms, all those terms, buckle, yeah, you lingual know. on the back, yeah, distal, mesial. Yeah, I hear them you know, talk all about that. that all the time. They say, "Well, he's got this," and they're like, "Whatever, you know, just fill the damn mm-hmm. thing and be done with." It. I don't oh. need to hear what you're talking about. Yeah, when I go see the dentist and they start talking, I can understand what the hell they're talking about. That probably helps. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, you know, so it was, uh, 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 you know, it was, it was a bad night. I wasn't, you know, I was in pain. I wasn't feeling good. And then Judy wakes me up at one o'clock in the morning, and she apparently has had caught a really bad stomach bug, and it was it it continued. She continued to get sicker and sicker, and got worse. And we ended up I ended up taking her to the hospital Tuesday Tuesday morning, and uh, it's been a rough week for her. She's having problems yesterday and today uh, with talking. She got some, I, I don't know if maybe because. Her, I think her blood pressure shot up. She might have had a uh, another TIA in, during all this, so it's affected her balance. It's affected, so you know, we go see the doctor on Thursday, so they'll, they'll follow up on that. But I mean, she's feeling better for the most part. But. So yeah, now until I was supposed to go in Tuesday, and they were going to build a temporary uh, for this, just one for display, like she says for your show. Well. I had to call and cancel, and now it's in December before they're going to get me in to see her. Mm. Oh, well. Uh, but, yeah. So, hey, let's... Uh, and The other th- thing is, you guys know that I had my eyes operated on. Both eyes are done now. They're doing really good. But I had it set up for close vision, which means right to about here. But my... You know, right about this far mm. away. But my monitor is up here. Mm. So that's just outside. So now I have to wear glasses to read the friggin' uh, uh, chat, which I don't like doing. I can do everything else up close, but I can actually read very fine print now that I haven't been able to read in 30 <laughs> years. But I can't see the friggin' chat without putting on my glasses, and I can't. That's that's the ex- right there's about the extent of my full vision, but that's okay. There'll be single vision when I get new ones. Uh, but anyways, let's see. Who, let's start at the top here. And, yes, uh, let's do that. We got go Ken Backwards Woods Groner. Oh, welcome, welcome. Steve Carpenter. Jim Beauchart. Uh, Mark Jim Beauchart. R. White. R. White? I thought he is white. 
Or and then we what? have yes, Drone Rob. Welcome, Drone Rob. welcome. Oh, we got uh, Brent. Eat more possum. Michael. Mr. B. Outdoor Misadventures. <coughs> yes. CT Formula. Yes, sir, from Who Connecticut. Is... I don't know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and he's a first time viewer. And we got uh, Grant, Mr. Stage Run. So we got a good group of Aussies in the, yeah. in the yeah, house. Steve, you mentioned Steve Carpenter, right? Oh, and Trevor. And Dustin. And One Dustin, Vision yes. Aerial. One Vision Aerials, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Billy Guys, Tompkins thanks. just popped in. Welcome, oh, welcome, right. Mr. Tompkins. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. That is a, that's a good crowd for tonight. I mean, yeah, you got a good crowd for a change. Yeah, so, uh, of course, you know, everybody. Oh, Mike saw... Roach just popped in. Yes. Hello, Mike. Hey, Mike. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, you know, everybody saw the, uh, you know, everybody knows the queen died. And how many of you got a chance to watch the funeral? I, I caught it last night or, you know, late last night. I caught part of the procession and stuff that they were doing. But then I roll, and I fell asleep, and you know that was it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it was, it was what I've seen of it. It was, uh, you know, it's something that uh, it's history, folks. I mean, yes, it's, it's, it is. It's and our history. Elton John our... be the new queen. <clears throat> yeah, he's the he's now the oldest queen in in the UK. He's right? the oldest queen in the UK. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. Camilla's not looking too young herself. <clears throat> but neither, neither here nor there. Uh, no offense to anybody in the, the Commonwealth. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, uh, no offense to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she's the most popular queen consort. Uh, yeah, that they've ever had, you know. Mm. But uh, you know, Queen Elizabeth was my parents' history. My yeah. my mother grew up before when she grew up under. She was born in 1921, so she was under, what, George V and the Sixth, I believe. Yeah. Yes, she was, George V, Edward VIII. And, and she she actually had, and I think I've still got some, she had some paper clippings out of the Denver Post when uh, he abdicated. Yeah. Right. And, I, uh, I saw that uh, on one of the the YouTube channels where they talked about the, the Queen. And I go, oh, there's a headline that said uh, Denver Post, or Rocky Mountain News, one of the Rocky yeah. Mountain News, yeah, one of the two, because both of them were around at that time. Yeah. And uh, so she had she had some of that stuff, and you know, and then yes, you know, so but that was my parents. Now my parents, like I said, my my dad was born in 1913, my mother was born in 1921. So <clears throat> that's their history. This is ours, and it's something that you know. Uh, I never thought about, or even uh, uh, I, I never even thought about the fact that Queen Elizabeth was going to die in my lifetime, and we'd have a new king. And uh, it it's been interesting, especially for somebody who enjoys mm -hmm. English literature and English history like I do. And uh, but yeah, so anyways, I got to tell you another story. This is an Australian story, and uh, I probably should. I probably shouldn't tell it, but I'm going to anyways. Greg can cuss me out later. Greg is telling me that, you know, he had, everybody knows he's had bad sinus problems and, you know, <coughs> always having, having problems with them. Well, man, speak of that. Uh, but anyways, uh, uh, yeah, uh, any, yeah, anyways, uh, uh, he bought a new, uh, a, uh, an air filter, one of the electric air filters. That it, it, it's one you know. Knowing Greg, it has to have the most sophistication you can get. So it's got, it's got uh, allergen filters. It's got uh, all sorts of detectors. It hooks up to his Bluetooth on his phone, and whenever it detects something that could be, you know, it pops up and notice saying this is what it is. It stands were up. And start. Yeah, pretty much. Well, he was going to work the other day, and he was riding on the bus. And he got a pop-up notice. It said, gas level detected high. And it turned it on, so he calls up to check on his wife. <clears throat> Apparently, it was 
created by whatever they ate the night before. It does measure methane. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was a methane alert. She, yeah, it's like, yeah, methane is some of the people <laughs> over there. Yeah, but we call it methane here. So, but for yeah, so apparently his wife was standing too close to the damn thing. It set off the alarm. <laughs> oh, okay. So she yeah. ripped one right into. She ripped one. <laughs> to, yeah, and yeah, it's like I'm gonna. Because when he says that, my first thought was, my first thought was, yeah, it's a, it's got a fart detector. Well, apparently, it, oh, there uh, you go. <laughs> so there you go, folks. You can. I'll have to find the brand name so you guys can get your own air cleaners with built-in fart detectors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just. Oh, uh, yeah, that was. Remember uh, the good old favorite. days when we tried the lighter fart. Hey, <laughs> we've, we've all done that. We've all done that. I haven't, only because my friends tried it first, and I realized <laughs> <laughs> that's not something you want to do. If you ever watch the movie Enemy at the Gate, which is about a Russian sniper, there is a scene yeah. in there where you see some drunk Russians trying to light their farts with a candle. And when I saw that, I almost fell out of my chair. I had a kid I grew up with uh, we, we grew over there in Westminster, one of the several that I knew, but uh, <coughs> this idiot decided one night, <coughs> he was uh, camping out in the backyard and he decided, he snuck out a lighter from his dad's house and he decided to light it. And he was at that age that there was growing in places and he singed it right there. The burning <laughs> bush. The burning bush, yeah, he fired yeah. it up and let it go, and oh my god! Of course, he's jumping around like a like a fallen cat, you know. And we're just laughing our ass off. That's why I've never done it because I, bet I he saw what happened. <laughs> yeah, he was. It was funny. <clears throat> That's you know. But now they've got you know they've got precautions. You know, do not light your bum with this cigarette lighter. You know, right. something like that. You know, uh, it's like the guy that. <laughs> Tried shooting Roman candles out of his butt. Oh man! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I saw one. Oh God, this is the funniest one. This guy. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, he, he had a bottle rocket. Yeah, you know the the wooden end part right, stuck right. up there, and yep. his buddy but when when it went up, he clenched up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. People are uh, stupid, you know. You can't. Hi, Bram, I'm at yeah, there we go. You know, it's like you <laughs> just can't fix stupid, but yeah. Uh, you know, it's a wonder oh, that most. Thanks, Steve. He's showing off oh, your tip jar. My tip jar. Yeah, he's been posting up my links to my oh, uh, spreadsheet and stuff. Steve's good about that. Uh, I was watching. I was watching uh, on YouTube just before I came in here uh, some videos, you know, body cams of police. And there happened to be one in Tulsa. At first, uh, there was one in Tulsa. And it ended up being a shootout. The sergeant got shot by this guy. I mean, these, and it just goes to show you, you know, the professionalism involved with these police officers because they had three officers there. They called in a sergeant because this guy drove off. They'd actually stopped and talked to him a few minutes earlier. When he left, they ran his tag. The tag did not match the vehicle he left in. <coughs> she explained it belonged to her mother's Ford Escort. They had, she just bought both vehicles, and they put the wrong tag on the wrong vehicle. You know. Well, this guy was in the back seat, and you know she was sitting there. Yeah, he was in the back seat of this minivan. She was sitting there in front of the door trying to keep him from, you know, you know, trying to talk to him and trying to keep her dogs calm down. And they ended up finally firing pepper balls at him first. And he pulled a gun out and started shooting at him. Of course, they unloaded and hit the sergeant that had fired the pepper balls. He's okay. But he's okay. He's back to work now, I think. And uh, if I remember the story, but it was just unbelievable because these officers gave him they kept 
They said, just give us your name, show us your driver's license, and mm-hmm. everything will be fine. They gave him every chance. I mean, they, it, it was it was like a 20- uh, uh, or 30-minute video in which they interacted. They tried to de-escalate, and it ended up him pulling a gun and shooting the sergeant. And uh, so the guy was then, DRT? No. Uh, he was not. He was... Uh, not they shot him he got wounded but oh. but he didn't die and uh oh. he he would have got five years for having a five years on a felony for having a gun after a felony you know conviction he's now got 105 years in jail they gave him a hundred 105 years in jail somebody said he's a magician he took five years and turned it into 105 years just there you go 20, 20 mm-hmm. minutes of stupidity, and you know, mm-hmm. it it, go, it it showed, it made me kind of proud to know that these officers did everything they could to de-escalate it, and this gal, she knew what was going to happen because she was, you know, putting her head down just like she didn't want to get, because once she moved out of the way, it was open up to him, and that's when, uh, uh, hello, Chris. Hey, Chris. And, uh, uh but it was, you know, it 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 was uh, an amazing thing to watch. But uh, it, like I said, it made me proud that Oklahoma's law enforcement was, or Tulsa's law enforcement were really, they really tried hard, and uh, they didn't want to do that. But he lived and uh, he went. He's going to prison for a hundred years. Yeah, he's probably so. out on a personal reconnaissance. I yeah, mean, they would. That's, what, that's probably what would happen here in Denver. Well, it would have probably happened in Tulsa too. And uh, I think yeah. this was one of the one of the ones that ended up on top or real police or one of those reality police shows that they have out there. But uh, we're getting and, some uh, bleed over somewhere. Where's that coming from? Is that you, Dominic, or is that uh, Lloyd? I'm hearing voice. Either that or my medication is burning off. Yeah. I don't know what's going on, man. I don't have any radio. Earlier, I was hearing it sounded like somebody playing the food or something. Well, yes. There it is again. Well, let me see if I can figure out if it's on my side. Yeah. Let me mute myself. How do I. How do I mute myself? You hit the mute button. I, I, oh, I know what it him. is. Oh. I know what it is. Oh, you got the monitor up too loud? Yeah, for some reason the monitor is feeding back. Yeah, that was driving me crazy. All right, yeah. here we go. The monitor was feeding back to the system. It's been acting funky lately, I, separating the, the two for some for whatever reason, it because see, I couldn't hear it. I've been trying to figure out why I couldn't hear the monitor, and that's because, well, I don't know why it's doing that. Well, but but we can it hear it. It was the television. It was actually Judy watching Downton Abbey. <laughs> so, <laughs> and you probably did hear a flute or something, you know? Uh, yep. Yeah, she's watching Downton Abbey. But, uh, so, Art, you got the. And I'm not going to take a drink, but you got the Avada? Yes, I do. Love it. How you liking that? It, it, it's fun. Boy, I mean. Is it? I, I, now I understand why when, when I hear people say, I, I've gone digital and I'm not going back. <laughs> you get crystal clear uh, video and the response. I'm using the, uh, the motion controller. and. You gotta fly it like like an airplane joystick. Mm-hmm. You can't <laughs> twist right. your arm. You can't go right. like that. To turn right or left. You gotta, no, you, you, you gotta go like, like this, this, and and it's like, like this. flying an airplane. It, it'll bank to the does left. Have, go this way. Does it have it? Does it do this when you twist, or is it? No, you know, it doesn't do no. anything. You gotta <clears throat> twist it that way, and now so you got this way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and, and you, you want to go yeah, up, that's right, because it's like got a that. dot. So if you want to change the yaw, you point right. the dot where you want it to go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
and, and the trigger, that's your accelerator, and that's like your your left stick on your yeah. controller. And uh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I was I was I'm I'm still undecided about that. You know, I'm still trying to figure out whether I wanna whether I wanna get it or not. And uh, I think you'll like You'll be like, wow. Yeah, this is- but I did notice that Rotor Riot now has the the, the new Dominator uh, uh, digitals, and with with you know, I think it's like six forty nine is for the camera. The uh, uh, six forty nine for the camera and the goggle, and uh-huh. you can uh, and then put your own put the camera and the VTX in. And it includes the VTX, so I may do that with my five inch and. You know, go that way. There you but, go. Uh, you know, I'll wait and see. I uh, mm-hmm. currently I've got to get a new, got to get a new uh, uh, controller. You know, uh, for for mine because my son was having problems getting his to link up to his uh, fixed wing, and so I said, "Here, try oh. this. This will probably work." And he took it in there. He said, "Yeah, it works great, Dad." And so he kept the damn thing. Uh, okay. <laughs> So I gotta buy a new Tyrannus, or I may go with one of the others. Uh, there you go. Uh, there you go. We'll see. But uh, so okay, we talk. We talk about my drones. next purchase will be the controller and a couple more batteries. And filters. right, right, right. Hmm. And and the charger, oh, no. the multi battery charger. Huh? And a battery, a charger would come in handy, I reckon. Yep. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. Not going. Not going doing. anywhere without one. <coughs> right. Mm-hmm. Right. So. Yeah. Uh, one I've got started. only does one at a time. Yeah. I know. Yeah. That's a pain. Uh, mm-hmm. I started doing Taking vlogs again. I finally. Yeah, and we. Finally, saw, I saw it this morning. Yeah, I. I've got a couple. I got one that'll go up at midnight tonight, and another one will go up. What's Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, one for Wednesday, I think one for Thursday. I, I can't remember. Yeah. So I've just got to finish editing those. And you, know, you guys know I don't do it, spend a lot of time on editing. I mean, it, mm-hmm. come on, it's me riding around in a damn vehicle. What's there to edit? Yeah. You know? <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. No transitions, no, uh, no need to. Yeah. 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 I do a little transitioning. I mean, you know, I'm really honest. You know, do a little whoop de doo here and there between the beginning and the ending. You know, there's a couple little things there. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, I've, I, Judy's been doing well enough that I, you know, I, as a matter of fact, that reminds me, let me, I'm going to, uh, switch because that's causing me problems. And so I'm phone. Hey, and we got Captain Peter. Ray Kelly in the house. Oh, Captain Ray. And, mm-hmm. uh, I need sexy B rolls. You're right. If I thought I could, yeah. come. Mm-hmm. Oh, also got my presidential sign hanging up there behind yeah, me. Uh, you know, so <clears throat> I'm I, I'm uh, I'm not going to be like uh, our current uh, our current uh, asylum uh, inmate. I mean, a, a current president. Uh, <clears throat> uh, he says. He's not certain. I, I am. I'm going to run, and that's it. You know. So you got it mm-hmm. here. So I, I, and there's my uh, vice presidential running mate. So. Uh, and tell us about the guests we had on our our uh, conservative team. Thaddeus and I can never. I always remember Thaddeus, but I can't remember his uh, McCotter. McCotter, yeah. That guy was interesting, and I I love mm-hmm. if if you guys want to hear somebody. <clears throat> put something into perspective. You know, whenever we have him on, you guys need to watch that on uh, Three Conservative mm-hmm. Games. He really, uh, he understood what I was saying. He took it, and, and he has it, though, down to, bull, you know, talking points. He's got a boom, 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 right there in the row mm-hmm. of what we need to do in order to uh, <clears throat> run a, a decent election. And uh, I, I thought he had some good points. And mm-hmm. I always enjoy it. When Thaddeus is on there, mm-hmm. oh, backwards drone, are you getting uh, you leaving? I hope not, but if you are, uh, good night, good night, good night. and uh, you know, I appreciate you dropping in. 
Uh, let's see what else. I missed. Uh, <coughs> I missed Uncle Bill <clears throat> last night. Yeah. For some reason. Uh, was you it missed a good the great show? night. Did I? I stayed up late. Like, yeah. Oh come on! Another draw. Oh. Yeah. Another giveaway. Come on. Another yeah. giveaway. Yeah. Yeah. Alexis has been very, Wait, very generous. Like... Yeah. Were you? How much did they? How long did it go last night? Uh four four hours, and then we're in the green room for about another ten minutes. Oh jeez. Oh, oh God, wow. I was in yeah. for a little. What was it? You yeah, I think you left. I think you left. I think it was two hours. Hour hour <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, Alexis has been very generous, and she she is that kind of a person. She's generous to a, a lot of people, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, uh, but she's been very good at helping out Uncle Bill. And I'm glad, you know. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I've mentioned it in in my video, and uh, I didn't get a chance to uh, get get the move get the video downloaded. But <clears throat> I think next week I'll probably. Sinuses, it's Oklahoma. This is, you know, sinus. Uh, it's, it, it's not the smoking as much as it is just sinuses in Oklahoma. But uh, uh, I went, I Jim, uh, Jim Hightower, Hightower, yes, Help at Home Jim, did a video along with a lot of the people that follow me uh, four years ago for my birthday. And it's a roast, you know, and it's a fun mm -hmm. video. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to download it and go through and edit it. Yes, I'm going to do some editing. And I'm going to take just a little snippet of and just kind of highlight all the people that I followed and I'm not seeing, you know, they're not doing lives anymore or they're, they've moved on to different things. And it's what this community was mm. when I started in it, you know, four years ago, four years, a lot has changed in the community. We got, yeah. sometimes we have mm -hmm. more. I think it's the more divisiveness that we didn't have four yeah. years ago. I mean, everybody was everybody. Ooh, we were all drama. friends. Mm. Yeah, we've got, and it seems like the drama is never ending. And yeah, you know, and we don't need that. We're we're all mm. we're all we're all drone people, or we're all YouTubers, and we, uh, you know, I think that's uh, uh, the way we should be. Because I mean, everybody that comes in here, I like, I consider y'all friends. You know. Uh, mm -hmm. The people in the chat, as well as the people that come on the panel, and uh, you remember as if it was yesterday. I, you know, I hadn't even thought about it, and then something popped. And I thought I got to look that up, and it's under a very distinctive name, so you just can't find it. You have to know the name of it. I will link it uh, when I get ready. When I get ready to show it, and like I said, I'll probably have it next week on. on uh, Cause it's like 15 minutes long. And I don't want to play the whole 15 minutes, but yeah, I've lost track of a few of these people, you know, and mm -hmm. that's my bad. Uh, and of course, you know, one of one of the people that I didn't, you know, couldn't do anything about, and that's Rick Albert because we'd lost him since, mm. uh, since you know, when he passed away. But <clears throat> you know, just a lot of people. And you, if you see somebody on there and you think, wow, what happened to them? Reach out, see if yeah. they still got a channel, see what they're doing. Say, hey, how you doing? Yeah. Stop in. And, you know, watch one of their videos, leave a comment, you know, because, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you're right. I, I am looking for your votes. Uh, so, you know, I'm trying to be nice. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, I don't think I can be impeached on anything. Uh, I'm pretty sure that no matter what, you know, eh, they might have to use the 25th amendment on me, you know, because I'm a little <laughs> senile, but I, I don't know if that. Oh, good. Then I'll jump. Yeah. Then you'll become president. Yep. Yeah. Oh my God! Help us all. Then mm -hmm. I'll try not to get too crazy, uh, do things too crazy when I become president. But you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, with with politics the way they are now, you got to make fun of it. I don't care which side of the aisle you're on. It's just it's silliness on both sides. Sometimes you just nope. Like, mm -hmm. Really, you know. I think but, that's politics in general. And you know, that, we can that's make it. People down here as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's an absolute uh, dumpster fire down here. Well, yeah, yeah, it is, I, and I think it's that way everywhere. It's just ideology has taken over common yeah. sense. You know, 
ideology yeah. has replaced common sense. Common sense yeah. is, is is something that doesn't seem to exist anymore because yeah. you know we're also entrenched in our ideology, and I think that mm -hmm. has to do with life in general. Yeah. No, I just that's right. I am not afraid to take a bribe. So right. uh, if there's something special you want when I get in office, I, I'm I'm I don't mind the money really. Yeah, you know so. Uh, just keep that in mind that once I get in office, I can be bribed. So now mm -hmm. art, maybe not, but me, yeah, easily. Uh, yeah, <coughs> I'm the one like with that. the principal. Yeah. Now he's the one who usually went to the principal. <laughs> His office, anyways. <laughs> Actually, I went to the principal's office a lot myself. You know, it. Yeah. Uh, I just for some reason I couldn't keep my mouth shut. Mm. Me that was done. my hot temper. Well, I was a little bit hot tempered too, but mine was mainly because I was just a smart ass. Hey, Robert. You know? Oh, Robert Glazer. Hello. Glad to see you here. Appreciate you dropping yeah. in. Glad you could join us. And uh, <laughs> yeah, because I mean, we've got a good crowd of people here. We really do. We do. And going back and watching that video was just sort of a, a reminder of like, Hey, Rod. God, what happened? You know what happened to those people? You know, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, oh, there's Rod. Yeah, I'm just barely seeing it. I, can, I get right here, and I can Rod. see it perfect. But, hey, Rod. And it annoys me to have to wear my glasses, but I'm going to have to so I can see. <laughs> I had quite a few. It's Steve Carpenter. Uh, I had more than my share. I mean, I really did. You know. And I got to tell a story on myself. It's one of the, it's one of those learning moments. And I, I think I've touched on this in my, one of my vlogs years, several years ago. You don't think as a kid, you think, oh, that's not going to affect me. That's not going to bother me, you know, blah, blah, blah. So what happened, this is when they were just starting. That was the year that Denver public schools or, you know, uh, in the Westminster School District number 50, I still remember my school district, uh, they decided to try new math, and they started integrating us in fifth and sixth grade. You know, you tested, and you either went to the, the bright math or the dumb math. I was in the dumb math class, okay? You know, I suck at math. I, I'm better at it now. I can do more of it in my head, but I hated writing things out. It was a waste of time mm -hmm. for me. But anyways... So they gave us this homework that we had to take home, and then we self-checked, which to me was a stupid idea. So me and another guy, we never did our homework, but we changed papers with each other, and then they gave it back to us, and we called out our fake scores. And there, yeah, there were six segments to this particular homework, or five segments. Okay, well, that that day after doing this for probably a month, the teacher just got fed up with it. And this teacher was one of the paddling teachers. He was the one that had the custom boards, you know, signed and autographed Ooh. and, you know, made in wood shop by certain students or whatever that came back from ju in junior high. They came back and brought it to her as a gift anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, she calls his name and he gives the four scores and she says, bring your paper up here. Because we didn't have to show him the paper, you know, because it's just homework. So she goes up, and he goes up there, and she says, step out in the hall. Like, My friend Terry was going to get a paddling. And we heard, heard it. One, two, three, four, whap, you know, each time. And uh, she could raise you up off the ground. She, she didn't hold back. So you would have thought I would have been smart enough to say, I'm sorry, I didn't do my homework and been done with it. I thought. She's not going to catch both of us. Terry got caught. Too bad for him. <laughs> so I give the five, I give five fake scores. She let me go all the way through it. She stopped him at four. She takes me out in the hallway. And she get, and I get through to the fourth one. And I go to stand up. And she says, no, you still got one more to go. And I said, you only gave him four. She says, that's because I stopped him on the fourth one. You went ahead and lied on all five of them. So you're getting a paddling for it. Needless to say, my what? butt was burning. Yeah, because she had an arm. 
and because she was also the girls' softball coach, so she, oh. <laughs> she had an arm on her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so well, you could say she had bad habit. Yeah, exactly. And so they marched me down to the principal's office, and I start getting my lecture. Of course, the principal knew my mother by name, you know, because he'd been my principal for this was fifth grade, and you know, or maybe it was sixth grade. No, I think it was fifth grade. And uh, so, anyways, uh, he reaches in to pull out his paddle, and she says, "Mr. Porter, that's okay. Uh, I I took care of that part. Okay." So then he goes on with his lecture. You never know how this is going to affect your future as a as a young adult. As I was, uh, as you never know. The FBI might come and ask questions about you, and I'd have to tell them that you cheated on math, that you lied about your scores. You just never know when that might affect your future. Fast forward to when I'm 18 years old and I'm in the Air Force. <laughs> and they want to do background checks. <laughs> don't let them think, don't let people think that they don't do background checks. Of course, I was going into <laughs> weapons. You know, I was doing, getting ready to go into weapons training, which we were dealing with classified weapons. You know, we, we, I could have gone nukes or whatever, you know. But uh, I go home on leave. Uh, well, I got stationed. I go home on leave. Uh, ah, JDS, JDS Flying Connect. Welcome. Flying Connect. There must not be anything on tonight because everybody's coming to my show. So, anyways, so Dude, I go that, home. The Monday night football really sucks. It could mm. be that too. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Uh, maybe they haven't haven't had enough fights on the field yet to make it interesting. Uh, but anyway, so I go home and, and the lady across the street that I grew up with, uh, mm -hmm. or I grew up in that neighborhood. She was a teacher up there. She was a substitute teacher up there, and she'd gone. She was work, actually she was working in the office. And one day, the FBI comes in. And of course, her husband was working out at one of the military installations there in Denver, and she thought he was coming in about a clearance for him or something like that. They came up to her and started asking her questions. Says, "Has he ever done this, this, and this?" And then goes and talks to my principal. But I didn't find out about. I did get my. I did get my clearance. But then I told her the story about cheating in sixth grade. Now, I, mind you, I'm 19 years old now. And uh, uh, I tell her this story, and I said, you just, I said, I didn't believe it when my principal said, the FBI might come to this school, and I'd have to tell them what kind of person you were because you cheated. And she, of course, busted up laughing. And of course, she gave me a good report. I put her name down as a neighbor, and because it was one of the few I could remember. We'd moved from Denver, you know, back four or five years before so uh mm -hmm. but yeah so you never know what they're gonna oh. and i tell this to my grandkids you, know, you never know because it happened to me but yeah mm -hmm. that was one of my school tales that yeah got busted for cheating and the fbi found out about it, or at least i thought they did of course they did that's <laughs> what not what it's about but boy that's that's the one thing probably the only thing from grade school that sticks in my head is that story <laughs> you know, yeah. You live long enough, you start remembering shit from way back when, but you can't remember what you did yesterday. Mm -hmm. Well, anyways, <laughs> enough about that. Uh, let me do some. Let me uh, put myself on a full screen, and let's go ahead and do a little shameless plug here, guys. And uh, these are the items that are available for sale, not the poo powder. That's exactly right, Steve. Hello, Charles Gawinski. Uh, I appreciate all you guys coming in tonight. Uh, you know, you don't have to buy into this crap on the phone and just you know, it helps pay the bills, but, uh, uh, anyways, uh, gives me a break for a second.
We can't hear you, Lloyd. All right, I said let's put this back on. Take me off a of full screen and bring everybody back in. <coughs> let's see. The U.S. Air Force checked back with TRW systems where my dad did a lot of work at, and I had clearance delivery. And yeah, yeah, the background checks that they do, you know, is uh, 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 kind of amazing. Because I mean, really, who's when you're se- Fifth or sixth grader, you're not going to think, oh, the FBI is not going to come back here to my school and check on somebody. Mm-hmm. Guess what? They did. And the only reason they would have gone to her house, but she was working that day and she happened to be at the school, so they went to the school uh, mm-hmm. to check with her. But mm-hmm. it brought that whole story to mind back then. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, USA Drone Fighter. Captain Joe America. USA Drone Fighter. Joe America. Joe. USA welcome, Drone welcome. Fighter. Welcome, welcome. Let's see, Mark White says, uh, okay, hold on, yeah, that Coast Coast Drone, I guess Pooh Powder gives a whole new meaning to the phrase, blowing smoke, <laughs> it does, yeah, 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 it does, uh, uh, and the, the joke about Pooh Powders, that for those that don't know it, is we have a cabin out by the lake, and uh, I don't have it fully plumbed, so we got a portable toilet. And one of the things you put in it is uh, poop powder. It makes everything gel, so you just pick the bag up, throw it away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is really fun to bring home and then put into your dumpster and watch the trash people pick it up. When it comes. <laughs> Two or three bags full of poop powder and all the remains there when you hear it splatter inside <laughs> You know, that's it. Yeah, they probably say a lot of nice words. Oh, oh yeah, because I like to do those minerals. Those yeah. I mem- like to do stuff efforts. like put in a, a you know, because sometimes milk goes bad because we don't drink enough, but I buy it by the gallon. But because some weeks we go through it, some weeks we don't. And I like to, right after they've emptied the trash on Mondays, I like to take my gallons of milk and put out there so by the time they come around next next week it's oh you know, it's nice and fermented nice yeah Almost yeah. Clean, it clean out the ice box with the leftovers from you know from thanksgiving or whatever <laughs> yeah i clean that off more often than that but yeah I, i'll put stuff out there that's going to be pretty rancid i don't do it all the time but it depends on it depends on where they put my damn trash cart that week if they leave it out there where it's you know where it's not supposed to be and or and the, and they don't pick up the trash from around it, you know, because sometimes stuff will fall out and it'll blow away. Well, the next week they're going to get a nice surprise from me, which is usually, you know, uh, some pretty pretty rancid smell when they dump it. So <laughs> that's the advantage of being a grumpy old fart. You get by with that crap. Hello, Hello Jack, Jack and Charles. Wow. Yeah. When's the last time? T- I, Chuck, have you been to my show before? I know you have. I'm sure you have. So, uh, but anyways, you know. Oh, and who's following this show? Oh, Listening. Drone Nation. Yeah. Drone Nation right. comes up at 8 yeah. o'clock. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, that's the real drone show right there. If you mm-hmm. want to get information, that's the yeah. show, show to we'll watch. We'll be talking about cameras today. Oh, the new. Uh, the uh, Hero Mini. Mini. Oh, the Hero yeah. Mini, yes, yeah, I yeah, hear that. The 11, yeah, the Eleven, yeah. Or they'll call it the the Session Six. Yes, I understand. I thought I heard on Ken Heron show Thursday night they are coming out with the Session Six. Did he not oh, say I that? I think that's the number. That's the the other name for the 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 Hero Eleven Mini. The, that's the nickname for it. Is Oh, is it okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's you know, my understanding. Well, I I may have misunderstood, but I thought he said he had it with good authority that it, they were coming out with a session six, but I could be wrong. Uh, yes, yeah, Steve, we know. It was on at six o'clock. By, okay, yeah, yeah, six, six o'clock, o'clock Pacific. Pacific time. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I tell you what, having that damn tooth missing is driving me nuts because it it's changed my speech. Just a little bit. It's like yeah, but it makes I, a great cigarette holder for it. It does. It does. I actually uh, 
Yeah. I showed that to Greg today. Yeah, I can, yeah. yeah, I can put it right in there. No hands, you know. I can smoke mm -hmm. without ever having to take it out of my mouth. You, you could pretend you're in a film noir. Yeah. GoPro session was a small... Yeah. Yeah, because the session fives are, are really best for FTV and this new uh, uh, GoPro Mini is supposed to be uh, that replacement. But I actually looked I thought about getting uh, the new Osmo Action 3 because mm -hmm. I kind of like the looks of it. I kind of like, you know, and for the price, uh, it's, you know, it, it's, I mean, isn't it, now I may have looked at the wrong one, but I'm thinking it was like about, for what it gave you, it was, and that Best Buy had it, and what they offered was, uh, <clears throat> you know, all the batteries. It's basically like a fly more combo kit, and it was the same price with all of that, with like three batteries, the stick, mm -hmm. and the you know all the bull crap that, that you can add to it. It was the same price as what the Hero uh, the Hero Eleven was going to be. I'm thinking, I could get this for that price with all of this stuff, or I could buy just the camera. For the same price now, I'd rather go with the with the stuff that's going to you know get a better value. But uh, so Dominic, what's been going on with you? You've been you've been hitting all the uh, live shows here lately. You can, yeah, I you know. I've that. decided to hit all the live shows and, <clears throat> and get as much exposure as possible for everything I'm working on. Right, but. but uh, strangely enough, most of the people that subscribe and follow me are not from Australia. So I've only got a handful of Australian um, people uh, subscribing. So I'm trying to get it out there so I can get more exposure and let everybody know what I'm doing so I can... Yeah, thanks, Jim. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I want to... I've got uh, you know, many topics that I really need to get forward and want everybody to know, you know, me mental health is a um, major concern down here and trying to also work on uh, getting more uh, women in drones so it's not right. an absolute sausage fest anymore. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. And we do. We need a lot. We, we do need more women in drones. What? What amazes me is like some of them that are into the FTV drone, they are exceptionally good pilots. But yeah, yeah, there's some really good ones in there already. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to build and, on that one. Yeah, we Using do. And, the template. Yeah, because it, but I've noticed that even it, it it seems like that was one of the things that was prevalent when it came to bringing women into fighter pilots, into the actual, you know, yeah. uh, manned aircraft. They turned out to be, you know, which I, I, the ones I knew in the service, they weren't, they, they were just starting to bring pilots in, went female pilots in training units, but not in combat units yet. Yeah. But, man, some of those female pilots are, you know, I, I jokingly said, and it's a male chauvinist thing, but I said, the best way to defeat an enemy is to have all of these women housed in the same complex. You know, the unit works together. They fly together. They do everything together. 30 women in a squadron, uh, mm. you know, and uh, you get 30 women in a squadron. They live there long enough. Their cycles are all going to be. And then that time of the month, you send them, to, you send each unit, have them staged around. You send them out there. To take on the enemy i guarantee you, you get 30 women that time of the month yeah they are going to be tenacious i'll tell you right now and, yeah yeah, uh, yeah yeah and that was politically incorrect and male chauvinist but so what you know it's the yeah. truth mm -hmm. they, women pilots are uh fighter pilots have turned out to uh uh hello miss J. welcome uh, uh they, they are pretty good you know, pretty good pilots, mm -hmm. which I always suspected they would be great combat pilots, and they are, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think the same could be said of drones. I can see, yeah. you know, uh, 
And they make great archaeologists, too. Because they're famous for digging up the past. Yeah. I knew that was going. I was just waiting for it. Yeah. Yeah. I tell I tell you what, the first thing I ever did wrong, Judy and I have a loud discussion. And by gosh, she can still remember that when I did that. I was like, that was forty one plus years ago. You know, I was like, mm-hmm. really? You haven't given yeah. that up yet? <laughs> you know, that argument's getting a little old. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that's uh, that's the way it is. I I can't help it. I'm old. I'm set my ways. I'm not politically correct. I've never claimed to be, and I don't give a damn. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You it's know, still, all you got to be is be honest these days. Well, that's it. You know, and I, I I think I am. I try to be honest. You know, so I try not to be brutally honest because if I was brutally mm-hmm. honest, I'd have zero followers. You know? Yeah. Uh, but I try to be honest and. Uh, uh, I just think we got a great community, and like I said, that that video that I that that Jim Hightower made really reminded me what is seems to be some of it seems to be missing. I mean, because at that time I wasn't very well known. I hadn't, I didn't have, I don't think I had, but like two hundred fifty, three hundred, maybe maybe two hundred fifty, maybe three hundred followers at the time. Mm-hmm. Not that I've got a lot now. I mean, I've been sitting mm-hmm. seven hundred and thirty now for. 720 to 30 for about mm-hmm. the last two and a half years. So I'm not worried about the numbers anymore. They used to drive me nuts, but you know, that's the thing about the, doing YouTube is as long as you're doing it for what you want to do, that's mm-hmm. all that's important, you know? Yep. If you're doing it to try and make a living, well, mm. uh, it ain't going to happen, you know? It's nice to have a few bucks, but it's not what to me, it was never what my YouTube channel was about. So, uh, Mark Mark says he's got, uh, I got more than you. You got 31. You know, I'll tell you what. When I hit 10, I thought I hit a magic number. I was like, I didn't think 10 people would ever watch me. Mm-hmm. They, they were real subscribers because my kids don't watch me, so I knew they weren't subscribing to me. <laughs> <laughs> They've always they've always said, why do we need to watch your silliness on YouTube? Yeah. All we got to do is come over and visit you and hear the same crap. So, <laughs> you know, every so often, my oldest son will, one of the guys, because the some of the IT guys down there were at at uh, at the college where his department is at. Uh, they'll come up and say, "Hey, chief, do you hear what your dad said?" And like, what's and he'll call me up and say, what the hell did you say, Dad? I said, well, I don't know. What were we talking about? You know, so uh, <laughs> he's going to call up and say, you know, Dad, you can't. And I said, well, hell, just tell him we're not related. You know, because there's a whole crap load of down there where his where his uh, y- unit is at. There's a whole crap load of minute halls down there. And, you know, they're probably related to us. But, you know, he's, he's like, oh, I don't know, 16th cousin or something. He, he's called me up a few times. What the hell did you say, Dad? I don't remember. <laughs> Let me go back and watch it. You know, if you want to know what I said, go watch the damn thing. You know, that's what I tell him. There you go. But uh, <laughs> and this mug is also available, guys. Uh, there at you my go. Store. They are nice mugs. Mm-hmm. Keep but, cold things cold and hot things hot. Right. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel bad. I had. Dominic on here as a guest. I have you on as a co-host, and I haven't shut up long enough to give you guys to say anything. So I'm going to shut up. And Art, tell us what you got coming up on your channels this next week because we're coming up on eight o'clock. Well, uh, I don't have anything lined up for for next week. I'll probably be talking about Nevada. Yeah, Ooh, yeah we another... can all talk about Nevada again. Or yeah. another another camera that came out. Whatever yeah. is hot this week, I'll be talking. Yeah, we'll find something to uh, talk about. Last week yeah. I had Vic Moss on. Mm-hmm. I saw that. I did see that. Yeah, I was good. impressed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Vic is a good. Uh, he's he's a pretty good guest to have on. So. Yes. I I, I yeah. finally got to meet him last month at the uh, the uh, the the drone. Uh, well, it's. More of a social that we all meet at uh, Wrigley's, and we 
we will fly our drones for a while and then then we go into Wrigley's and and shoot the breeze, have some dinner, have a few beers and uh, and okay. meet a lot of new people. Did uh, you last say- time I went there was a guy that had a I think it was an M six hundred. It was a huge drone. It was an optic copter. Yeah. And it carried really? an, yeah. a, a great big hammer on it, like a Sony mm-hmm. or something. Yeah. 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 Did you say you met Vic Moss? Yes. Yeah, you lives here in, Dem- in Denver. I did not know that. I yeah. mean, because I've, I've seen him on Ken Heron's show and other shows, but I didn't know he lived there in Denver. Wow. Well, that's all right. Yeah, that explains a lot. <laughs> and last week he was in Vegas for the big uh, drone uh, convention there. Yeah, well, I forgot what they called that. Uh, yeah. so. Okay, and don't forget, guys, your show is Saturday nights at yes. 6 p.m. Central Time, right? Yep. 4 yeah. Pacific, 5 Mountain, 6 Central, 7 Eastern Time, and 7 a.m. Philippines time. And nine, that, that becomes uh, uh, 9 a.m. in the east coast of Australia. Oh. Okay. okay. And we're coming up to daylight savings, so all the time zones are going to go all over the place now. It's going to screw up everything because when you guys go to daylight savings, yeah. then, we, you know, you guys, uh, you guys we spring forward to so you. Standard. And we go back, and so that yeah. instead of there being like a a, a twelve plus two hour difference, or you know, it's, it's like a twelve yeah, plus four hour difference. With top of that for a while. Yeah, we'll go yeah. Forward I, you, you'll go. We go forward first because we're about a week, a week and a half away. We go right, forward right. one hour on in October the second, and I think you go back about a month later. Yeah, sometime in November. Yeah, it used to screw me up because uh, we used to. Uh, I used to do flight simming with uh with Grant, and yeah. uh, you know it was it it took me um, it took me two or three weeks to get used to the that yeah you know because it expands because he's they're like uh I think they're uh they're two and a half hours behind, plus twelve yeah, yeah so they're two two and a half hours plus but South then Australia's the, half an hour behind me and right right currently Western Australia is two hours behind. And pretty much yeah. on the same time as the Philippines. Right, right. <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, that. At the moment, they won't have, I don't think they've got daylight saving. So that means no. they're three hours behind. Right. But I think Colorado uh, is going to stay on daylight saving. Daylight. Really? They're not going to be changing. It's either this year or next year. Can't remember. Well, I'm hoping they'll do that here in Oklahoma because it's just it, it's it's ridiculous. It screws with your sleep pattern. It does everything. So, and guys, I'm letting you know right now that uh, you probably a lot of you have already headed over. Uh, uh, that uh, drone nation has started. So, and Dominic, what when are you going to be doing? Do you do a live stream of your own? Um, I I do, but they they're generally random times. Okay. I might settle into a, a time zone yet, or right. just you know, like yourself when you were off. I thought I'd right put exactly. In there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes yeah. when people are not on, I might <clears throat> throw it up. But you know, I I might even um might even do you know every two another one like every two weeks, and fit right. into the time zones that other people are not in. The ones that yeah. do the two weekly ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that too. I mean, you like uh, uh, the, ti- the timing. The timing is the thing I've got to work out. Yeah, it means that I have to yeah. get up at seven or eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> well, uh, Johnny Drone Flyer, and uh, I don't know if Captain Captain Ray probably has, but you can download that. I've already got that. that uh, yeah. Have you got it? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, anyways, well. All right, guys. I appreciate you all being here and putting up with me flapping my gums for an hour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate everybody. Uh, uh, oh, good. Mark has 32. Go check out his channel, guys. Uh, Mark yeah. R. White. And welcome to the show. Uh, See, Blue? 
Have you no, made him he's blue? not. No, go make him blue. And and oh, 107 God. drones. Yeah, he's not blue back. either. Wait, not, not blue either. That's, back. That's who? There we go. Oh, seven. Seven. Backley. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh all right. Uh, oh. mm -hmm. I'll have to go back through there and see. Uh yeah, but yeah, no I'm gonna uh I'm gonna uh uh sign off for tonight. Uh, I appreciate y'all being here. I appreciate uh, yeah. you watching my show. I'm not even gonna bother with the uh five minute out. Yeah, I'm just right. gonna stop the stop the broadcast and remember but remember what I say, be kind. Treat each other better than you would treat yourself. Remember, everybody matters. Yeah. Even toothless old farts like me. And yeah. God bless, God help USA, because we need it. So, anyways, I'm the Grumpy Vlogger with Art and Dominic, and I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. And I'm out of here. Yeah. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.